and we have to switch out this bathroom door lock with a key lock so that people do not come in here and steal product. So, public bathroom and a uh, private business. So they are going to have to keep the key up front for it. However, it will be a good demonstration of changing from round corner latch to square corner, because I will have to do that. And we're going to be using a LSDA grade 2 knob. Probably leave the same strike light, and it's not that big of a deal. Just a bathroom after all. Main goal is to keep people from just wandering in and locking the door behind them and pilfering items while they're in here. Very common in retail places that have hinges, which I don't really do hinges a lot, um, so we are using a LSDA 100 series, grade 2 knob, the face plate is oh, okay. square corner, as you see, so it would not sit in there real well, and uh, typically I did not bring my pen with me. So I'm just going to kind of score it with a chisel here, even though I know pretty much what to do if you did not do this often. You would want to kind of mark it there. And it's pretty easy to knock out those little sections. This is a thin door, and it's also a hollow door, so not a whole lot of substance to it for sure and basically we're just being very careful on those edges and typically the grade two are a little bit deeper, uh, thicker plates right here, so sometimes you have to recess the whole thing a little bit more, which is what we're going to have to do. Screws that came with it. Nothing wrong with the screws, they're not stripped or anything. Um, and also, we do not usually tighten it tight until we get the actual knob in. We're going to unwrap the knob. Run function, and we've got the what is that plate and the screw. 
screws. And all we need out of this is these two. Door, so we're pretty much going to screw this all the way down. Back it off there. Little notches go in there and it should sink down. So when you're putting it through, you want to make sure your little teeth grab in like that. That's the most important thing is that it goes in properly and that is centered. And then we are going to grab our plate. Spring is usually facing down. And when we tighten these screws down on the little sharp tabs that were on the inside they will bite into this fiber board. If you're doing this on a metal door you're gonna have to uh, to drill drill a couple of little notches for that to sit into. And again, don't forget we're not tightening these down all the way. It actually says top right there. And our keyhole is right side up. I do have my drill with a drill bit, but whatever. So I'm going to get these tightened almost all the way down. Finish tightening my screws here. Then tighten this down. Until it is flush on the outside.
circuit. Snap our plate with the little notch right there. And then it kind of snaps on up here. Like that. And I mean, this usually slips on. Sometimes you got to push that, but sometimes it'll slip on. So check it. Check our alignment and our gap, which is really perfectly fine. Again, it's just to keep people from coming in here. Now we need to switch out these hinges with spring hinges. So I don't do this a lot. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we are have these little pins. This is what stops the springs from working. Uh, that, that puts your tension on it, I meant to say. And uh, then we have pin screws on it and uh, the pin used to tension it. So basically you put this on ugh, just like any other hinge uh, with the adjustment hole up. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap all three and put them in. door close and sort tar which is the tension adjustment rod which I guess is this insert tar in the right hand hole of the adjustment hole as shown Take tar to the left and insert TSP in the hole shown as figure BB and release tar until contact C. Uh, it's just 
stick this thing in here and see what happens. I wonder if this is fine. TSB contacts right hand side. Doesn't say what to do with the X wrench. they're going to work themselves loose. Ooh. 
recessing any further, so. But they don't seem to be wanting to work themselves out. But it's the real only option because of this hollow. Can't put a real door closure up there because it'll rip right off. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comments section.